Hey everyone, today we're gonna learn how to create a backup and a version of your course and your project file inside of Storyline. And this is a, a beta feature that allows you to back up your project files and so you can download previous project files or even previous versions of that project file as well. I get really excited about this, so let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jeff Bat, and if you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts covering anything learning development related. You can also download free templates in Articulate Storyline 360 or Axe API, and check out full courses covering everything from A to Z in Articulate Storyline and other development tools. Today though, we're gonna focus on Articulate Storyline and a new feature that I get absolutely crazy about because there's been several times where I've created a course Course, and I've published out the course and it's uploaded, but then I've lost the project file. I know everyone's done it, but this is a way to back up and have your project files in one location. I still think it's good practice to be able to put your project files somewhere else and put them in like Dropbox or like your shared uh, drive in your company or something like that. But this is also a place, especially for version control, that allows you to create new versions. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my Storyline project file. Now I'm gonna publish this out and I'm gonna show you this new feature here. So when I publish this out, I'm gonna publish this to Review360. Now I've already created a version here, but I'm gonna create a new one and I'm gonna call this one Sample. And now this is the new feature right here that says upload project file to Review360. It's gonna actually take my Storyline project file, not just the output, but my project file and upload it for me as a backup. So let's go ahead and click on publish here. You can also access this, if you go into your Articulate account and you go to Review360, it will have all of your courses that you've uploaded as well. All right, so now I'm gonna click on View Project. Now this will take me to the regular review that you may be used to. You can request reviews if you want to get feedback and so forth. But this is what I wanna point out. If you click on these three dots, because I uploaded that project file, I can now actually download that project file and it has kept it as this version. So if I go into Storyline here, and let's say that I want to make a change. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a two, just so we can see that there's some type of change here. Let's publish this out. So I'm gonna click on Publish, and I'm gonna publish as a new version. I'm not gonna create a completely new review, but I am gonna create a new version of this same review. And make sure I have Upload Project Files selected as well. All right, so now if I come here, this is the new version, so if on my review, what I could do is go into page two where I made the change. So date and time here, it has this right here. However, up on the top left-hand side, notice that this is the current version, but there's a version one. I'm gonna close out Storyline, and we're going to download version one, and I'm gonna show you that it's kept that version intact. So if I click on version one, and then I go to download project file, we're then going to open that project file up. And I think this is what's the most useful thing about it because it creates version. When you're doing web development, it is often that you want to create and back up your website. So you want to create versions and be able to revert back to versions in case you made a mistake or something changes or a client doesn't like something or the stakeholder says, hey, why do you have that? Let's go back to this old version. Having different versions of your course could be tremendously helpful. All right, so now it's pulling up Storyline. Let's go into page two, and it should not have that number two, which it doesn't. So now I can download that other version. Review is awesome, but this is cool. This allows you to create versions and publish out different versions of your course and have them as a backup. If you put them on a drive somewhere, you would still have to like duplicate your course file and then create those versions, but here, this allows you to create those versions and keep those versions right inside of review. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. Maybe I just geek out about things like this, but this is a tremendously helpful feature that just got released that I wanted to talk about. If you wanna check out more, head on over to my YouTube channel, click that like button and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to create these videos for you and produce content that helps you with your e-learning developments. Also, if you want to learn more and there's other things you want to learn about, 
comment on my YouTube channel as well, which really helps. And uh, let me know what else you want to see. What other features are you not uh, familiar with that you want to get to be more familiar with? Comment down below and I will I take a look at all the comments and I'll check that out as well. But that's all I have for today. So thanks everyone and I'll see you next time.